No, I think you should try to be more consistent. You know? um, I think sometimes when you play over guys, you get a little flustered sometimes. And uh, I don't think guys are trying to they're not trying to be selfish on purpose. and think sometimes you get a little bit outside your body. You know, that happens. We just, we just got to uh, cut that out a little bit. You know, because the bigger games obviously is going to hurt us. You know, the matchup game is going to hurt you. So, what did, uh, go ahead. What did that Josh Proctor make? It seemed like it, at that moment somebody had to go make a play. So what, what uh, I think that gave us a lot of juice. You know, uh, he, he got us going. You know, Proctor's a really good. He's, a, he's a, obviously he's been here for a while. He's a leader on our on our defense. And uh, and for me, just knowing him personally, it feels good. It feels good to see him do good. You know, I think he's been through a lot of you know, injuries all over the years, stuff like that. So it feels good to see him do good. He's playing the best ball right now. I was gonna say, being seeing him from last year to now, was it like seeing him get that moment and then also how much growth have you seen? I'm so happy for him. You know, he uh, he's had his up and down. You know, he's gone through a lot of injuries and stuff like that. And I think he's really playing his best ball. He's the best version of himself. You know, he's a leader on our defense and uh, he's doing really good. It makes me happy. Who had the hardest hit in the second um, my favorite one was Denzel's because that, that kind of surprised me. I've never seen Denzel anyone like that. That was my favorite one. Safety's kind of set the tone for the defense. Yeah. Two picks, you guys made some big hits. Just what do you think people are learning about your safety line that you already knew? Uh, I think we've got something to prove. You know, uh, I think last year we, we went where we wanted to be, and when we got to play every game, we've got something to prove because we did. You're trying to get big hits. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> You had a couple of coverage today. You were there. They just made some plays. How do you, you know, not let that kind of affect you? Um, I know just talking. I think uh, that's where your team is helping you. Know, help you know, come up to the next play. Next play. Next play. You know, obviously, I want to make those plays, but I mean, I got to move on to the next play, so I don't miss out on the play that's coming next. We, you know, uh, we talk about uh, the ne next play before the play, and I think that's a big thing at the because you're going to give them more. Sure. And you can't let that carry on to the people that are going to Yeah. Um, as far as containing Talia, he's obviously a talented guy, likes to get out of the pocket. How do you think you guys did overall of keeping him in space and maintaining gaps and all that? Uh, I think we did all right. We had a few plays where he was uh, scrambling out late in the drive. I think the DBs did a good job of uh, staying on their man, you know, the scramble drill. But, uh, yeah, I feel like we did solid. What can you take away from playing a quarterback like that? Because you're going to face other guys that are versatile, like to move, can do things with their feet. Uh, like you said, keeping them in the pocket, and then like I was just talking about the scramble drill. You know, I feel like that's huge when quarterbacks like that can extend plays and make they make a uh, big plays happen when DBs lose their man and somebody's wide open downfield. So I think it's huge to scramble to get your man and plaster on them. Was it a coincidence in the second half when the game started to change and you guys were delivering some big hits? Like, do those two things kind of work together in a way? Uh, I think that definitely sets the tone, you know? When guys are catching the ball and getting hit, I think it makes them a little more concerned when they're running routes and balls get thrown to them, they're looking for somebody to come hit them. So I think it definitely sets the tone. I think it gets everyone else going, you know what I'm saying? You see somebody hit somebody really hard, oh, you want to go hit somebody really hard, and everyone's just flying around. So I'm sorry if you already asked this, but you know, Maryland seemed to be really taking some of those one-on-one -on -one shots against the safeties, and when Josh made that pick and took it back, um, so how much of a sort of tone change was that for this game? Um, I mean, that was a really good play by him. Uh, I, I think it definitely kind of flipped it. I think he felt the energy flip on the defensive side of the ball. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think it was a big play for us. I think that really got us going. Is it? Are you guys feeling like you have to come into games compared to last year, you know, sort of up a level? Like, this, this offense needs your help right now as a defense. I mean, I mean, our offense is really talented. I think we, as a defense, we take pride in it. Like, we want to win the game. You know, regardless of what the offense is doing, we, come, we take that. We come with that chip on our shoulder. Like, we want to win the game. Sonny, just how different has Josh Proctor been this year, in your opinion, in terms of just how confident he is? Yeah, I feel like you definitely see that confidence. You know, uh, I think a big thing for him is just, I think, in the offseason, he had a really good offseason. And uh, just making plays, flying around. The more plays he makes, yeah. You just see him fly around even more. You see the confidence. You can feel it from him. And I think he's really stepping into a leader, a leadership role for our, for our defense. How much confidence does it give you guys when he's consistently making the play back there and you know you can rely on him? I mean, you know when they run that ball, he's flying downhill and going to smack somebody. So, I mean, it makes me feel pretty good. I know he's right there beside me. You know, you know obviously, everyone will see how Lathan's hit too. So, uh, I, I, I think we're playing some good ball right now. We try to keep getting better. Keep you think uh, really Talia's good... scrambling ability was a good test today for you guys? I mean, definitely. Was I mean he's one of the best of that I say when it comes to extending plays so I think it's good to get that under our belt and uh, look hit the drawing board see what we need to improve on and see how we can handle that better. Do you feel frustrated at times trying to scramble after him? You did a pretty good job trapping. Oh yeah, when I, when I when I the one time I was blitzing I was I had to break down make sure he didn't shake me. <laughs> yeah, he's a shifty guy.
but it seems like he's probably going to provide uh, good practice, if you will, for yeah, later think, games against the guys. Yeah, I think it's definitely uh, good to get that on tape and let us see that and see what we need to improve on. You said Josh Parker had a really good offseason. What, what did that look like? What do you mean by that? Uh, I think it just – you could see the uh, – it's like a different focus from like a laser focus like he was on a mission I think that's you saw that from him and uh, not like he wasn't focused before it was just a different level of intensity you could see it in his eyes every day and I think that, that's what really uh, really why you're seeing him uh, play his best ball right now there was a lot of competition in that room for just the, the two or three starting spots you think that contributed to it I mean you were part of that too uh, yeah I think I think competition makes you uh, makes you play a little harder you know you gotta stay on your toes I think that definitely helped Sonny thank you